Another year of spooky state has now come round again. I call to you, darkest knave. I call you, old scratch and friend. Really? Oh, no, no, go on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Go, go finish the thing. <clears throat> Where were you? Oh, yeah, you were, you were summoning. Go, go on. I call you now. Come forth before us all this eve. Really? Glenda, Glenda, let me, let me make you understand. I, I don't think you've really thought about the situation you've got here. I mean, you really think he's going to show up here? Take, have you taken a look at these people? I mean, have you really peered out into the crowd and seen the sort of souls you're dealing with? I mean, let's face facts. You'd sort of be putting a roller skate on a rocket ship to, to get these people to go with you, right? This is very true. No, don't, don't worry, don't worry, I, I've got a plan. I, you finish your Cajun Pig and Pride Day and then we'll get on with the show. Please. You go right ahead. No, 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 don't mind me. Please, continue. Here, I'll just take a, I'll take a spot. I'll take a sit. I'll call, talk to you in a minute. Go on, finish summoning. Come forth before us now. I call you <laughs> Mr. I'm, DeVille. I'm really? <whistles> Big awkward silence you got going there. No, 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 please, go on. I call you Mr. DeVille. Well, I'm ready for my close-up. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. If you look at these people, they'll stay. We're going to have a host step out here. Hi. Stomp in front of all these lovely people. Hi, all of you lovely people. And say that we're going to... You really are going to want to watch your feet. <laughs> and say that we're, uh, we're going to bring the devil forth. Seems sort of ridiculous, don't you think? One person, one, one person. Really. No, the truth of the matter is, you won't be afraid, will you? Tell the truth. Don't take a good long look at them. I don't think they're going to be scared of them at all. You know, I think this evening, you can have them. Well, great. Off you go, then. <laughs> I'll take it. Get, give a cheer to Mama LaRue. No, truth be told, it'd be lovely to bring you some big snarling demon, but the fact of the matter is, we've done it. We've done it to the point we're not scared of it anymore. I started thinking about it, and I went back deep into my head. When was the first time I was really scared? You have to understand, I'm just like you guys, exactly like you. I started off, uh, <laughs> my parents called me brilliant. And when the inevitable acting out began, the doctors had all sorts of things they called me, but the one that stuck with me, the one that really got in my head was sensitive. <laughs> He's such a sensitive boy. <clears throat> well, of course I was sensitive. The world was rubbing my skin raw, and all I wanted to do was take an axe and stick it in the head of everyone around me so I could just get them to stop thinking. <laughs> Sorry, lost myself for a moment. But the reality is, we're all wound up and excited. Look at us, we're all sitting here waiting to go. We're all ready to see some action. We don't, we don't, need, we don't need the devil to stand out here, we need the truth. And the truth is, I decided as I got all energized, the fact of the matter was everything was freaking me out. Everything was, was upsetting me and making me afraid. And so, <laughs> simple plan, exposure therapy. Started watching movies, horror movies. I developed, I thought I would develop an, a, a tolerance for all the things that scared me, but instead I developed an encyclopedic knowledge of all the things that got in my head and freaked me out, which left me in a very special place. So then I became the knight. We all did it, teenagers, don't lie, raise your hand if at one point you were stomping around smoking clove cigarettes, wearing black clothes, and being evil. Yeah, didn't work, did it? Sorry, folks, didn't work. But the fact of the matter is, we get together once a year and, and, and play at the monsters that we tried to be for so long. And why did we do it? Why do we do it? I know why we did it and why we continue to do it and why we're doing it right now. These, these things are monsters that we're not afraid of. We know a vampire, pfft, right in the heart. <laughs> Silver bullet for the werewolf, pfft. And if you chop enough heads off enough of those dead relatives, boom, no more zombie problem, am I right? These are simple problems, and we live in a world full of huge problems with no cures and little tiny problems that scare us even more. And so instead, let's just do what I was born to do. Let me act as a scarecrow and chase it all off for a night and welcome you to the spooky stage.
Danke. Danke.